Hey everyone, today we are going to create the messenger AI agent and I am going to walk you through all the errors which I have faced while making this AI agent. So let me give you a quick demo. So if I come over here and write hello, so now the answer which I will be getting will be from the agent and not the manually person who is sitting behind and adding the answer. And this is going to be a very introductory video so you will understand everything from scratch. So let's get started. So let's start with the black canvas over here. So the first step will be going is to developer.facebook.com and over here will be after logging, you'll be seeing my app option. So click on that. Now I have tons of application over here because I have done multiple testing for different, different scenarios. So let me create a new app. Now we'll be creating the app. Now give the app name. So let's say messenger hyphen agent hyphen two because I already have one. Then I'll be going to the others, then click on others. And next, now we we'll need require a business account. You click on that. So portfolio is not required. It's optional. So leave it blank and create app. Now enter password. Now this is the interface for the app where you can see multiple products over here. But we are interested in the messenger product. So we'll click on setup. So now as you can see, the first step it is asking is to configure webhook. So now to configure the webhook, so we'll be requiring a URL. So let's go to anytime. Click on plus icon. Search for webhook. Now we require this URL. So we'll click on this URL. Let's go back again and paste it over here. Now for verification token, let's give any token. This is uh, this token we require because we need to verify that this webhook belongs to us so that we can write anything. So right, let me write hello and let me before clicking on verify and save it come over here and execute the workflow. Let's go back again and verify and save. It will not work right now because we have to come over here and we can see we have got the message, but we need to reply it back again. Now, if we see the message, we can see we have got the verification token, which we passed the more is subscribed and we have challenge. Now this challenge code, we have to pass it again. But before that, we have to verify that we are getting the same verified token and this mode is subscribed so that no one else can hit our uh, webhook URL. Okay. So for that, we'll come over here, click on if our kind of uh, mode is subscribed and verify token is hello. If it pass, so uh, majorly I don't use if I go over here and use filter because in the if node, uh, this false will remain kind of um, hanging over there. So instead of that, I use always use this. I prefer this part because this discard that. So let's come over here. I wrote if to give you an idea why I use filter over if. So hub is there. We want hub is subscribe. Then we have verify token. We want verify token as hello and execute the step. So as you can see, there is nothing, no hanging node over here. Just a, only one cap node, which we require. So once we are done with this thing, so now we need to reply back. So for that, we'll be using webhook, respond to webhook. And inside this, we'll be passing the text data of whatever we got a challenge. So we'll pass it come over here and we're passing this in the webhook node. In the respond, we have to use respond to webhook node. And now all set, we'll come over here, execute workflow. Let's come over here and verify and save. Now it should run properly. So now as you can see, everything is passed properly. If you go to the API integration and again back to messenger API setting, now you can see our configure webhook has passed properly. That's great. Now to receive the data over here, so we'll be getting the data in the format of post method. So currently just to configure the webhook, we're getting in the get format. Now to receive the message, we'll be using the post method. So for that, let's go to the Facebook first. And now, so for whichever app you are trying to build this messenger, so don't use that account, use some other account. So for example, this is my own account. So I'll be messaging the application. So as you can see in the right, uh, in the bottom, this is the page for whom I am creating this uh, agent. So for that, I need to send a hello message. But before that, let's go to the Aniton. Let's come over here. In setting, let's allow multiple HTTP method and we want to get in push method over here. Okay. So now we'll start executing the workflow. Let's come over here in Facebook and send hello. After sending the hello, if you go to the anytime, it should come over here. We are waiting, we are waiting, we are waiting, but it's not coming. This is on purpose, by the way. I know what is the error because I want to show you most of the people make this mistake that after configuring the webhook, they directly get jump over here. But instead of that, let's go to the app and now we need to generate the access token. Okay. So we'll come over here, connect the app. So because you have not still connected any kind of a page over here, we need to connect the app over here. So we'll confirm our business page. And now there are multiple page for this uh, Lakshya Dukani account. But if you're not sure for which page you want to give, and if you have no idea for which page you are operating, you can use this opt-in for all current and future page. But I know which page I'm using. So I'll be using that particular page and continue and save. So as you can see, now it is done. So now everything is done. Now, just one thing is remaining is that we need to add a subscription over here. So which all subscription we require. So we need to receive the message. So for that, we can click on this. This will allow us to receive the message. If you want other kind of a subscription, there are multiple tons of subscription over here. You can choose any one of them. Okay. So I'll be using the subscription. I can come again and edit, edit as well. So don't worry. So I'll confirm it. And now let me generate the access token. So let me generate it. Now, please copy the access token and keep it somewhere because it will be one time and then it will go on. Let me copy it. Now, once it is done, so now, now we'll be going to Aniton. 
will be executing the workflow let's go to the facebook and send the hello message now this message should come in any time so now as you can see we got the message in any time because we subscribe to the message uh, over there now once we got the message let's reply it back so let's send http request now what need to pass over here so for that let's go back to developer.facebook.com go to the docs inside this we have messenger platform click on that now search for something send because we need to send something so not this not this so we have here over here platform feature messaging let's click on messaging now we have the whole proper documentation over here that's how you go and search for documentation by the way now we have send a message part over here if we scroll a little bit down so we'll be seeing a basic text option over here so as you can see we have a sample request over here so we have this curl command let me copy this curl command go to the anytime import curl and paste it over here and import it now we have everything pre-filled over here now we require the page id the page id is nothing but our kind of a recipient id now understand this now in the facebook when we send the message this message has been sent by me the lakshya dukani which account belongs to and it is gone to the bot which is kind of a spout out page for which we have created so now in the anytime we have sender and recipient sender this is my particular lakshya dukani id and this recipient is the spout out id okay and now this bot we are creating for spout out the page for which we are creating so for that instead of page id now over here we'll be getting the recipient id over here so like let me make it expression first expression and the id over here okay everything is done now in the query parameter we require access token over here this access token is the one which you just copied so paste it over here okay if you want you can add in authentication as well if you are uh, having multiple time but i'm keeping just for a simple sake i'm keeping over here okay and now in the body part if you open the body now we have page id this is the recipient id recipient id by the way sender id who has sent now the sender become the recipient over here okay now we'll paste it over here now we need to response and let's have a static response of hello world and now execute the step if you go to the facebook you heard the thing we got the hello world over here that's how simple this is okay now let's add an a agent node in between so that it can respond dynamically instead of sending the static hello world message let's click on the an ai agent now instead of defined below will be requiring we have the text as hello so we'll be using that hello and now we'll be adding an option system message so let's write any normal system message you are a helpful assistant um regarding the travel page called as spout out okay so answer all the query regarding the travel information so i'm keeping it generic so you can answer it accordingly so now as you can see i have written a very minimal system message over here so you can write it according your business okay so let me generate the execute step it will fail why it's failing because the chat model is not being added so let me come over here search for chat model i'm using uh, open router you can use any of the chat, chat model you want okay and memory we can add we should add memory because it should remember the past conversation as well so we require session id so for the session id we'll be using that particular person id for this kind of sender id over you okay message window is nothing but how much past message it should remember so it is 5 you can make it 10 so the last 10 message it will remember now once it is done we'll come over here execute the step we'll be getting a response over here in the output we can see we have a response and now let's come to the http request and come over here and we won't be having this now so instead of this let's come to the webhook and we require a sender id so we'll be getting the sender id and in the text message we'll be having the message from the agent let's copy that and let's come over here now it will again give an error so let me execute the step and now we are getting an error why because json parameter need a valid json and this is not a valid because as you can see we have a slash n and everything to make it valid we'll come over here and we'll add this command so this command will automatically replace slash n to double slash n so now once it is done we'll come over here and execute the step so now as you can see again we are getting an error unsupported post request object with id message does not exist and cannot be loaded so let's debug this one now so now we are getting this error because as we can see in the left hand side this is kind of a red now we need to get this from proper position so for that we'll go to webhook over here and instead of this let's replace this with the recipient id over here okay and now execute the step so now as you can see everything worked perfectly fine let's go to facebook and we can see everything is working perfect over here so that's how simple it is to make the messenger ai agent so this was a very simple video on how to make your own ai agent on messenger if you want to make your own instagram ai agent for your dm you can watch the video over here and subscribe to this channel because i make tons and tons of video regarding the instagram messenger uh, whatsapp and how you can create your own ai agent over there so i hope you like the video please press the like button we'll meet in the next video till then take care